All right, hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got another match in the Kyber Cup. This is round three. I know when I am. Maui versus Funwalk. Maui flying Anakin, Lumi, and Rick versus Funwalk with Cassian, Braylon, and Tindum. How are we going to tell, tell these bad boys apart? Braylon is red. And Tindum is green. All right. A little bit of rebel beef versus some Republic Aces. I know Maui has recently flown Cassian, Braylon, Tindum. I think almost this, maybe this exact list. So he should be decently familiar with how it works. The Anakin with R2A6 allows him to change the speed of the maneuver. Very hard to block. Lumi with Chopper. Going to be handing out those jams. That's why we see her spending those red evade actions. Needs to spend two charges. Before uh, flipping that card and going to Erratic. 7B Annie, CLT Lumi, Daredevil R2C4 Rick. I really like this Rick. Daredevil Rick was already good. R2C4 allows him to spend the evade tokens that he gets from full throttle to mod his attacks. So we've got Tinnum with the stabilized S foils. Allows him to barrel roll, target lock, and get the stress. So he will be double modded using that. Both have crack shots. Got a crack shot on Arvel as well. Leia on... Oh, that's the difference. When we saw Maui flying a version of this list, it had um, K2SO instead of Leia. Ah, look at this. Got some Bavaria Squadron tokens. Looking good. Arvel with a one hard turn and a barrel roll backwards. Plenty of room to maneuver. Next turn, Cassian turning his arc away from the fight. Some next level positioning. Maybe we'll see him sit and spin next round or a hard turn. We see locks being taken turn one. He knows choppers on the board and jams are incoming. going for a lock as well. Rick onto the gas cloud. Three forward from Anakin. Gonna rethink that. Goes for a two instead. back. Yeah, both players not eager to get close yet. Goes for a lock as his action. Back to dials. Versus 
this Anakin. That is a tough matchup, R2A6. Allowing Anakin to change that dial. Rick could be a pretty good target. You know he wants to do those three speed maneuvers. See, the, the jam could be particularly difficult for Arvel, who relies on the tokens more than the other two, especially the B-Wings. Can't jam that stress off. It's a mod Lumi can't get rid of. Hard one out of Arvel. Barrel roll back. Still maintaining that distance. Waiting for the other player to commit. Hard two out of Cassian. One straight barrel roll. Yep. Just making their way down the board edge. Too hard out of Lumi. Let's do a chopper check. Yeah, one force, or one charge. Goes for the barrel roll. Rick turning away, showing that backside. Now we're getting fancy with it. Daredevil boost. Anakin with a bank. Anakin gets behind the gas cloud. I feel like he's baiting. He's, he's putting himself in bad positions, maybe hoping the rebels will come across the board. Lumi's in a good position. She's going to threaten that flank. Rick, with the stress, definitely wanting to do a blue maneuver. Maybe a three bank. That's going to be tough for the Rebels. All of them move before the Republic. Lumi's a four. Tells us Fun Walk has player one.
hard three out of Arvel. Starting to move a little faster. Gonna put a lock, uh, a lock out there. In case of a jam. Cassie into the one bank focus. <laughs> B wings continue the one forward barrel roll. Two bank out of Lumi. And the boost. Rick with a three bank. Target locks the gas cloud. Anakin immediately disrupts that. Hard one over the gas. <laughs> Zero consequences. Fine-tuned controls, boosts off the gas. Back to dials. Yeah, Maui's got options, right? He, he can one hard turn, barrel roll, come back into the middle. Could go fast, threaten the flank just like Lumi can. Foils token to show us uh, what the U Wing's doing. Currently open. Could close them. Do the spin. See if we uh, get a Leia proc here. Nope. There's the stop. Oh, yeah, these dials have the U wing turn. I haven't seen that yet. Three bank out of Arvel and a focus. Braylon, too hard. Can go either way around this gas cloud. Goes right. 10 num. Has good coverage between the asteroid and the gas. Barrel rolls behind Braylon. Still pretty good arc, either way. And has the option next turn of a one bank. Lumi. Two banks in.
fine tune controls. Barrel rolls back and takes that final charge on chopper for an evade. Rick with another three bank. Full throttle evade. Barrel rolls left. Looks like Mike is committing that top of the board fight. Might have had an option to turn in towards Arvel next turn, but that's not great. Alright, back to dials, we should... No, okay, he was changing the, uh, the maneuver. Alright. One hard. Change from a two. And yeah, it's a good idea for the Republic as well to get those target locks out there just in case Lumi needs to hand a jam off to a friendly ship. And just hand one off to Anakin or Rick. Break the lock. No big deal. Alright, now we're back to dials. For real this time. For really real. Yeah, let's take a look at that Aether Sprite dial. There are the blues. So that's what we're looking at for Lumi. And the threat of these B wings is looming. Cassian can remove one stress. What's the range? One to three. So he's got options for both of these B-Wings if they don't want to have to do a blue maneuver. Cassian himself is stressed. I think it's it's tempting to do the five forward boost. I am a little worried about a three bank from Rick. Just getting a range one shot there. Smikey says the three bank would only be three dice at least. That's a good point because Rick would be doing a, a slower maneuver than Arvel. So that would reduce that primary. And 
Anakin just dials in a 2. And then depending on where Arvel is, does a 1 or a 3. Cast in with a one straight. Relieves the stress, takes a focus. Ooh, Arvel. Not interested. One hard. Barrel rolls backwards. One forward from Braylon. Focus barrel roll to the right. Tin numb with a one. Barrel rolls to the right. Goes for the focus, does not try to reach for a target lock. Maybe he knew he was out. Three straight from Lumi. Let's give the force points back so that we can take him away. Could barrel roll down boost. Take shots in the tendum. Goes for the boost. Could maybe barrel roll left. She is going to jam. Gets rid of the focus. So one thing to keep in mind about Luminara you have to not be in the attacker's bullseye arc in order to use her ability so barrel rolls now she can use that force point to debuff at least Braylon Tindum's got all the focus mods Rick. Hard three onto the gas. He does not care. Maui just dancing all over these clouts. Anakin changes to a three bank. Spins a force point. Gonna go for a boost towards an unmodded Arvel. All right, any start of combat stuff? I don't think so. Should just move right on to Anakin. Range three into Arvel. 3v4. Gonna target lock that blank. He's probably thinking he does not want to spend... Oh, he's gonna target lock the whole thing. Does not want to spend that many force points. Oh, boy! <laughs> I guess you spend at least one because you're gonna no we already spent one for fine-tuned spins both all in on this attack Arvel four dice one evade takes one not terrible Yep, does not get out of Braylon's arc. Range one into Lumi. 
4v3. One hit and a focus so far. Can use his ability. Oh, Lumi spends a force point. One crit. Ooh, two eyeballs and a blank. Lumi loses the shield. Lumi, range one into Braylon, no mods. Nothing. Same as her defense roll. Blank focus, focus. Yeah, it looks like Tendum didn't have anything either. So one shield on Lumi, one shield on Arvel. No big trades there. Lumi is considerably more points at 53 than Arvel, though. So Rick definitely positioned for a three bank. Does Arvel get out there in front of it? Yeah, Spikey's saying a three hard focus boost, boost with Arvel. And I kind of think the same thing. I mean, Rick could two bank. If he wants to risk it. There's a crack shot on... Arvel, so if he lines it up correctly, there'd be a bullseye around here. Ooh. I never get hosts. All right. Recon Specialist, thank you very much. I gotta turn on those notifications. I'm not used to that one. So now is when we'll probably see Cassian. Oh man, who do you relieve here? Maybe you take the stress off of Braylon so he can turn around. K turn. I don't know where you put Tindum. Cassian with a one straight. Keeps that arc on Lumi. Yep, there's that K turn out of Braylon. A one bank out of Tindum. Mm 
Yep, there's the one bank and the barrel roll. Went with the focus barrel roll. Nope, changing his mind. Oh, nope, sorry, that was the uh, the jam. Okay. Focus gets removed. Lumi barrel rolls next to Braylon, trying to get out of that arc, but I think she's in both. Let's see. That was both of her force points. Anakin's on one. Anakin does a 4K right behind Arvel. Uses his ability for a target lock. Spins the force point. Double crits. Double eyeballs. Gonna reroll the two eyes with the target lock. Ooh, boy. Hit crit. Crit, crit. <laughs> Arvel, two evades. Takes two on the shields. Oh, already lost one, so that's a direct hit. He's dead. Structural damage. That could be dead as well. What speed did Arvel do? Get three hard. So it'll just be three dice for Rick. Hit crit. Spins the evade with the R2C4. There it is. And that is a dead Arvel. Can the B-Wings punish Lumi? Oh, no! Does not get Ark there. Braylon, no shot. 10 num. Range 1 into Lumi. Lumi does not have her ability. She has no force points at the moment. So 4v3 with a focus. Three hits. Lumi could blank out and die. Does. Lumi is out. Oh, sorry. There's a token there. <laughs> False alarm. Lumi on one. Yeah, Flying Money says should have target locked with 10. Uh, Lumi jammed him. So it didn't matter what token he had. Here's the range one shot from Lumi onto Braylon. Hit crit. Takes them both. Oh, uh, forgot about the reroll. Still. Taking two. Cassian, can he finish off Lumi here? 3v4. Cassian's got to focus. There it is. Three hits. Lumi needs three natural evades to live. Doesn't get him. Gets two. Gets the focus. She wishes she had the force points remaining, but doesn't. 53 to 38. All right. 
under 39 minutes to go. Anakin and Rick get Arvel, but that is the cheapest ship for Funwalk. Has all the Leia charges. Could see a turnaround from the U-Wing. Mata says U-Wing should maybe four straight and regroup. I like that. Yeah, you do have everybody sort of facing different directions. Now you could move Braylon up, Talon, Tindum behind him. Maybe do a 1-4 with the Ewing. Maui's ready. Cassie with a one forward. Ten num two Ks. And a one bank out of Braylon. Tries to barrel roll backwards, goes to the straight instead. Maintaining that distance. Four forward from Anakin and a barrel roll. Again, giving him the option to turn in or go straight. And this is a good opportunity for Anakin to recharge force points. He's up to two. So while it's nice to regroup with the Rebels, you're also letting Anakin get stronger. So Cassian can get rid of 10 numb stress. I guess most of the maneuvers you want to do are going to be blue anyway. Stop, spin, 
let's see what. Hmm. Yeah, if you pop lay, I guess you could do a three bank. I don't know that he wants to go that fast. Especially if Ten Num's regrouping. Oh, casting with a three bank. Wants to get out of the way for Tindum and Braylon, it looks like. And wants to get out here in front of Anakin. All right. Not bad. Tendum with a bank. Looks like they get rid of all the target locks because nothing, uh, nothing left on the board to jam. Three bank out of Rick. Yeah, so the question is, do you want to sit here and trade range three blows with Braylon? Looks like the answer is yes. Two bank dialed in from Anakin. Changes it to a three. Sees an opportunity to go after Cassian. I guess maybe even bank in and shoot Braylon. Yeah, he's going after Braylon. All right. Spends a force point. Takes a lock. Anakin. Range three into Braylon. 3v2. Target lock single force point. Two hits. Spins the lock. There it is. Ooh, blank into a blank. Braylon. One of aid. Rerolling the focus. Into a focus. Take one or none. Hmm. Got another shot from Rick coming up. Spins it. Takes nothing. All right. Range three from Rick. Rick did a three. Where's Braylon at? There he is. Did a one. Spins the focus for hit, hit, crit. Braylon's got two dice and a reroll. One evade so far. Takes hit crit. Shields down on Braylon half points. 65 to 53. Now he on top for now, but does have to take this modded, single modded shot from Braylon. Two of your dice, okay. Two hits so far, gonna reroll the focus. Hey, three hits. Four dice from Rick with a with an evade token. Gets two naturals, spins the evade. Safe. Ooh, Tindum. Got a shot into Anakin. Will be obstructed, though. Hey, 
hit crit. And back to dials. So let's take a look at this gas cloud. Does that restrict his straight maneuvers? That is awfully close. I've tried to call the uh, the sit and spin from Cassian this whole game. I'm not going to do it. Definitely has the option to turn around. Of course, if he turns toward that gas cloud, that might be... Well, no, he could just bank away the next turn. No big deal. What do you do with Rick? He does have the Daredevil boost, so he could do something wild. Three bank boost. End up somewhere over here, I don't know. Five straight. That's why if I if I'm the B wings, I'm I'm leaving. Well, mm. you got to turn away from somebody, right? One bank, ten numb. To cover a possible five forward boost. Oof. One bank barrel roll. Forty chess. Relieve the stress from Braylon. Talon roll. Let Rick roll past you. Oh yeah, let's not forget about Leia, relieve the stress, 2k roll, something like that. There's some shenanigans to be had here.
All right. Fun says he's ready, and so is Maui. Let's see what they came up with. Cassian relieves the stress. Oh, there it is. Leia getting procced. Stop maneuver from Cassian. Turns 90 degrees. Maybe thinking about coordinating? Nope. Focus. There's that 2K out of Braylon. Does not take the strain because of Leia. Focus. Ten them with a one straight. Barrel roll right to try and cover Anakin. Stay right where you're at. You got decent coverage. Or do you barrel roll left? Try and get in the way of a five. Rolls the wrong ship. So if he does do a five with Rick and a Daredevil boost, that's problematic. But you gotta commit to somebody. Four forward from Rick. Could barrel roll out of Braylon's arc. Yep, there it is. Anakin dials in a two bank. He's at two force points. Changes it to a three. Could barrel roll target lock? Tendum has that lock and a stress, and it doesn't seem like there's a great way to get out of there. I mean, you could barrel roll boost, but you're going to end up in front of somebody. Question is now, is he in front of both Cassian and Tendum in range? Spins a force point. Takes a focus. Feeling a little vulnerable. Anakin, range one. Four dice into Braylon. Braylon's got four hull remaining. Three natural hits. Doesn't have to think about spending any of his mods. Braylon spends the focus. Doesn't have anything to shoot at. Why not? Takes two. Tinnum, double modded, range two. Spins the lock on the blank. Already has a focus to get rid of his stress with. Three hits. Anakin, two dice. He's taking something. How much is he taking? Oh, blanks out. He's taking all three. Anakin, half points. 97 to 65. 
Also, one of the uh, one of the viewers on YouTube does not like when I get loud, so I installed a compressor on the audio. Let me know if that's actually working. <laughs> we need some more compression. Uh, hit crit crit from Cassian. Oh no! Hit crit going through. Anakin could be dead with a double damage. Fuel leak. Well, that doesn't matter. Oh, is it du uh, double grits? You're right. Was the first one fuel leak? Or was that the second one? The second one's fuel leak. The first one is panicked. Oh. Oh, Maui pulled two cards at once. Oh, so was the fuel leak first or not? Oh, God. So they're going to say he flipped Fuel Leak first. Anakin's out. Rip. One forty one to sixty five. What a shot from downtown on Cassian. work to do here against some tanky ships two of which haven't even been touched oh do we start the timer back they did okay there we go 16 minutes left Cassian flips around without Leia's help this time. bank out of Rick. And he is in all of the arcs with no chance of getting out. Let's have to think about these crack shots. Takes a focus. I'm going to shoot into Cassian.
3 v 2 range 3. Spins the focus for 2. Cassian 1 of 8 takes 1. Alright, four dice range one from Braylon. Hit crit. Spins the evade, takes one on the shield. Ten num range two has the stress focus. Spends it for one. Three dice from Rick. Two evades. Cassian, can he do it again? Double crits. Cassian, please. Takes another shield. Back to dials under 12 minutes. Well, no stress on the B-Wings. One forward from Cassian relieves the stress. Gets all up in the way. Leia on two, so next turn could use her. Braylon, one hard. Ooh, fantastic flying there from the bees. They've been waiting all match for that moment. Holding hands, going into the end. Three hard from Rick, does not complete it. Trade shots with Cassian here. Cassian did a one. Two hits. Takes another shield on Cassian. Still one left. Hit crit thanks to the focus. Rick takes all of it. Damage sensor array is the crit. Under 10 left in this game.
We got two stressed B wings. They don't mind doing slow maneuvers to relieve that. Also, they've got Leia. For some reason, they want to do another red maneuver. I think they can slide in there beside Cassian. He says, hey, Scott, can you squeeze in a Kyber game? I'm in a Kyber game. There is a, a, a match schedule in the match coordination channel of the Discord. Definitely take a look at that. See where you can fit. Ten Num turns around. Braylon bumps, but they've got arcs all over the place. Rick with a one straight and a focus. I'm gonna stare down Goliath here. Range one. I, I guess on Cassian. <laughs> uh, hitting two crits. Sorry, I thought that was Cassian. And I was like, oh boy, the crits. Um, spins the focus. Natty evades from Cassian. Takes the crits. One shield and a crit on Cassian. Loose stabilizer. So there it is, 94 to 166. It's a range one shot from Tenum, I believe. And that is a dead Rick GG. Wow. A lot of positioning in the beginning of the game, but uh, yeah, that crazy turn with Anakin. What a way to go out. Congratulations to Funwalk. Fantastic anti-ace play. That'll do it for this match. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexalt Gaming. Signing off.